right, folks, put your keys, idiot, and we are back. Like a real case on Facebook. We're on Oh Deadly Night. Going on to chapter two. Thank you guys for all the likes and comments. We'll see if we can get uh, Baby Ace maybe in this big, and maybe in this video, maybe in the next one. Ingrid, what do you mean by the victim's reindeer have escaped? Well, every Christmas, your victim kept deer disguised as reindeer in a stable behind his house to make his grand entrance on Christmas Eve. So why do we care if they've escaped? Because they're eating up all your evidence. Oh, Ace, you're right. We still need to search that area for clues. It's off of Santa's house we go. Wow, Santa has crazy lights. Ace, what have we come to? We're here looking for clues leading to Sovereign. Instead, we're wrangling fake reindeer. Stop eating that. Shush. That was a little creepy. A little guy just passed out. If he wakes up during this recording, I'll show you guys. All right, so bicycle, box of decorations. Briefcase, see the wreath, archer mug, that's hilarious. That is hilarious, North Pole. Wow, big stretchies. Hey, so we won't let a pack of famished reindeer get in the way of our investigation. What did you find? Briefcase with the victim's name on it? Briefcases are boring, but if you want to unlock it, consider it my Christmas gift, Ace. Hey look, Ace, that trunk is full of Christmas decorations. Why don't we have a look inside? And you found a mug with my face on it? Well, that's strange. Someone must have bought it on my online shop. I hear I'm big in Siberia. <laughs> you can dump it, Ace. I'm sure there's no bearing whatsoever on this. Oh, right, there's something on the rim of the mug. Look, he has. And of course, you want to take a sample of it. That's something that I think would be really cool for like the new year is if we set up a Pitching Ace 88 shop um, and we worked with uh, Pretty Simple to get some uh, criminal case licensed um, like shirts and stuff, mugs. That'd be pretty cool. Be totally down to do that. So if Pretty Simple you're watching this and you've been thinking of doing that, uh, let me know and we can work together to try and set something up because I think that'd be really cool. It would get it would get the game out to other people. Ooh, it's escape. We find inside that box of Christmas decorations, Ace. On a sticky piece of plastic, thrilling. You're right. A clue is a clue. Let's send this plastic thing to Lars for analysis. It goes on the bottom of an ice skate. I think that'd be I think that'd be so cool. Let's look at this briefcase. No, no, this one. Yep, that's uh, E. Nope. Ah. Uh, it's a seven. I knew it was a seven. Whoa. Ace, hey, the victim's briefcase is full of files marked confidential. They're all addressed to Nikolai Sharapov, our hungover Cosmora scientist. Why are there Nikolai's confidential documents in our victim's briefcase? Hey, something is up. We're going to need to interrogate our space scientist one more time. Something's fishy going on. I want to examine the Archer mug. Who's, the, who's a big fan of Archer? Watch, it's, the, it's a dominatrix chick. <laughs> Oh great, Ace, you got a sample from that mug with my face on it. And now you want to put it under the microscope? You're so thorough. What if it's Archer? What if he bought his own stuff? That'd be hilarious. Sorry, I had to skip over it. This is just too funny. Alright, so we got the yellows. What? Oh crap. I guessed wrong. 
So these have got to be the green ones, yeah. Oh wow, they were a lot trickier. Man, they're making these a lot more difficult, so white in the middle. What? You found DNA strands in the sample from the mug, and the DNA matches that of Asal Hawa? Well, that's just crazy. Oh, what is a Mossad agent doing with the mug on my face all the way out here? That woman, always full of surprises. Oh, you want me to talk to Ace? Well, of course you do. Let's go see what Asal is doing in Siberia. Hey, Asal. Nice. Very nice. Good job, Archer. What are you doing my file, Senior Trooper Ace? Those are supposed to be confidential. Can't you read? I suggest you refrain from taking that tone of voice with Senior Trooper Ace, Nikolai. Now to answer your question. We found your files in Nick Kringle's briefcase. Nick stole my documents. I knew something wasn't right when I caught him looking through my briefcase with all those glasses of mulled wine. He was getting me drunk to take advantage of me. Well, that's one way of putting it. The other way is you killed Nick for stealing scientific secrets you should have guarded your own, with your own life. Either way, you're looking at a new career as a full-time convict if Senior Trooper Ace discovers you killed Saint Nick. Yeah, I think Saint's kind of a loose term. Wow, she's gorgeous. Senior Trooper Ace, what a lovely surprise to see you here. I had no idea you were in Siberia. I was just doing a little ice skating and sightseeing. What a pleasant coincidence, isn't it, Miss Hawa? Why, yes it is, Agent Archer. And on may I say you're looking very handsome today. Uh, what was that, Ace? The mug. Oh yeah, the mug. Miss Hawa, could you tell us what... Oh, never mind. You got me, Ace. Asal and I were a thing. But can't you blame me? I mean, the woman is intelligent and beautiful. That's a lethal combo. And what can I say, Senior Trooper Ace? He has a way with words. When I found out that Jack was headed to Siberia, I just knew I had to come with him. After all, Siberian nights can be so cold and lonely without a little mulled wine and me to keep him warm. Well, glad that's out in the open. Ace, now can we get back to work? Uh, unless she's using you, which could easily be the case. Uh. So I thought I would show you guys. You guys did a bunch of likes and comments. This is a little baby Ace. He's tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully he can sh show up in some of my other videos. I do appreciate liking and commenting. Make sure to like and comment this video if you want to see him more. Uh, we can give him little cameo appearances. It'll be a lot of fun. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in 12 hours. Machine Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, we are back. Like a little case on Facebook. We are on O Deadly Night, Chapter 2. Now, we're going to be waiting for this thing to tick all the way down so that we don't actually have to use any cash. Hey, Ace, have you seen my Santa suit anywhere? I want to wear it for the party, but I can't find it. Speaking of, how are you getting on with the investigation of your dead Santa? Well, we're hoping the plastic thing Ace found in the victim's house could be of help. Right, that plastic thing. It's a cover used to protect the blades on ice skates, a blade guard. This is what happens to match the size of the shredded pattern on the victim's clothes, as well as the cut marks on his fingertips, meaning that this blade guard belongs to your killer's skates. Regarding the sticky substance on the guard, it's everyone's favorite Christmas treat, candy cane. Oh, so our killer eats candy cane. Ace, hey, seems like our killer has a sweet tooth for murder. I would think from the skate you can kind of tell their size, but we'll see. Ace, hey, didn't someone offer us candy cane recently? Good memory, Ace. It was Dominique who offered us candy. She gives them out with all of her cocktails during the holidays. Well, we know where our sleigh will take us next, to the Snowed Inn. Ah ha ha ha, Snowed Inn. Find that funny. Napkin, we got the faded paper, we have milk, we have a 
croissant, glasses, and an envelope. Oh, we actually got a star. Oh, that's right. Because we got the happy hour. A plus six hint. Hey, you found a tar torn bar napkin. If you think there's something important on there, let's tape it up. That letter you picked up is from Cross Morris. It's hard to make out what it says. It's going to need a good dusting if we want to read it. Something or else, Nick. Let's see. Oh. There's a message written on the bar nap you taped up. Nick, leave me alone or else. Clearly the author of this opus wasn't in a jolly Christmas mood. And nicely spotted. The message looks to be written in purple marker. Let's see if Lars can tell us who our purple pen Scrooge is. I wonder if it's a Saul. I wonder if uh, he was hitting on her and she was not none too happy about that. That would be my guess, my shot in the dark. Training. Hey, so letter just dust to read cosmonaut training application. And it's addressed to one Yelena Tereshkova. Fortunately, this Yelena person was rejected from the program. At least they signed it Happy Holidays. You're right, we need to find Yelena and see what she can tell us about Cosmoris. She is not going to be happy. Just going to throw that out there. Yeah, she looks upset. Miss. Tereshkova, I'm Agent Arja, this is Senior Trooper Ace. We'd like to ask you some questions regarding your involvement with Cosmoris. Well, you may ask, but I have nothing to say. Well, you did just receive a rejection letter from them, and you're wearing space overalls, so I'd say you do. Oh, since I was a little girl, I wanted to go to space. For 20 years, I've waited for Cosmoris to give me an opportunity to go, but I'm rejected always. I joined Cosmoris for going to space, but I've been at the desk in the middle of nowhere for years, waiting for a chance, waiting and eating. If I don't stop eating the candy canes, I'll be too fat for space. Ace, I'm not so good with women in tears. So let's come back later. Brother. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in 12 hours from Pitching Games 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Games 88, we are back. Let's finish this off real quick. Hey, Ace, I got a joke for you. Ready? Sorry, bro, bro, but we really need to... What do you get if you eat all the Christmas decorations? Tinselitis. Get it? Like tonsillitis? Oh, my kids love that one. <laughs> oh, what a hoop, bro. But we were hoping we could get some info about the napkin with the purple writing on it. Right, I took a sample of substances used to write the message. It's a combination of numerous waxes, oils, dyes, and other synthetic materials. What kind of pen is that? Well, it's actually not a pen. This message was, was written in purple lipstick. Purple lipstick on a bar napkin? Well, you're right, Ace. That's the color of Dominica's lipstick, and she works in a bar. It's time to have another chat with her. Oh. Oh, oh. Hey, Miss Schnuroka. We're back with some more questions. This time about the angry message you wrote to Nick on a bar mac napkin. Oh, Nick was becoming possessive. He was starting to be bad for Dominica's business. He would sit at the bar all day, getting drunk on my delicious mold wine, scaring my male customers away. This is how Dominica makes money. You mess with that, you're in trouble. Oh, so you killed him. Not much for customer service, are you? No, I don't kill him. I just send him a little message to scare him. If you killed Nick to keep your business alive, you'll find yourself behind a completely different kind of bar. Totally. Ace, Archer, I'm glad you're back. I've just been notified that a certain bureau member's new girlfriend has joined us here in Siberia during our highly confidential investigation. Hey, Ace. You brought someone on this trip, you sly devil. Oh wait, Chief, you mean me and Nassal? Of course I mean you, Archer. You remember that Miss Hoa is a Mossad agent. I hope she doesn't compromise your efficiency during your investigation. Nassal? Well, she's just here supporting her number one guy, and besides, we've got some good leads already. We found our victim's briefcase full of confidential Cosmoris documents belonging to Nikolai. 
claims our victim liquored him up so we could steal them. And Ace and I met Yelena, a down and out Cosmoris, Cos, Cosmoris cosmonaut who's been waiting for her chance to go to space, but is, in, is instead stuck behind a desk out here in wintry Siberia. And of course there's Dominica, whose bad side I'd never want to get on, but then again, I wouldn't want to be on her good side either. Hold on, my phone is ringing. Go for Archer. Hey, Ace. Hey Lars, what's up buddy? Well, it seems as though I'm stuck in your victim's chimney. And someone just lit the fire. Oh, Lars, why would you? <laughs> Not even gonna ask. Just gonna find out in chapter three. I'll see you guys there. It's from Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.